Welcome to the OpenMRS University. In this screencast, I will show you how to contribute code to OpenMRS. If you go to Getting Started as a Developer wiki page, you'll find directions. I assume that you've done steps from 1 to 6, and you have your development environment set up, including Git, Maven, and an IDE of your choice. Let's move to the seventh step. Find some introductory tickets that have the ready for work status to work on and assign them to yourself by clicking the claim issue button. You can find introductory tickets beneath. I want to work on report 220. Let's see the details. Before I start to work on a ticket, I need to make sure that I understand the task at hand. Uh, if I have any questions, I just put them in the comments. Tickets is pretty straightforward. So the only thing I say is I will use this ticket for the OpenMRS University. It is important that you claim an issue, meaning you say that you are working on, on it. It changes the status of the ticket to in progress and lists you as an assignee of, of the ticket. This ticket comes from is for the reporting module. Most of OpenMRS code base is now on GitHub, and by now you should have OpenMRS. You should have GitHub account. So let me find the reporting module on GitHub. If you want to send pull requests, you need to fork this repository to your own account. When you are done, you need to copy the URL of your fork and open the command line. You start from forking a repository, uh, excuse me, from cloning a repository. You type git clone and paste the URL of your fork. This command will result in a local copy of your fork. It may take a while. because the all branches and history is downloaded. After we cloned, your fork, you need to add a remote repository which we'll call upstream and it should point to the original OpenMRS repository. So from your fork you go to OpenMRS slash OpenMRS dash module dash reporting and copy the URL from here. Not a git repository. Right. So first I need to let me rename OpenMRS module reporting to simply reporting and enter reporting the 
directory. And here I can do a gate remote at AppStream. After that I can fetch all the latest changes from Origin and AppStream. Origin is my fork, AppStream is OpenMRS. We will only pull from AppStream and push to Origin. So I, did, uh, I see that some new branches were fetched. Now I want to make sure that my master is has the latest changes from upstream. So I type git pull rebase upstream master. It says that current branch master is up to date. That's good. If you made any changes and you want to revert them, you can type git reset hard upstream slash master. This command will revert anything, any local commits and modi modification and basically will make your currently checked out branch the same as upstream master. So in order to work on a ticket, I need to create a dedicated branch, which you typically name after the ticket. In this command, I will check out a newly created report 220 branch. If I type git status, I will see that I'm on this precise branch now. Let me bring Eclipse. I want to import the newly cloned repository into Eclipse. So I choose import and existing Maven projects. And I point to reporting. As you can see, I have three Maven projects. Uh, I want to take advantage of the Eclipse integration with Git. So I just right click on these three projects, choose Team and share project. Git is my repository. And here I want to make sure that user create repository in parent folder of project is checked and my listed my repositories are recognized. And when I do this, I can see that I'm on the report branch here. Let me try to work on code and make some changes. I will pause the recording now. To start with, I have modified reflection util that get property value to use bin utils that get property 
and I want to comment this change. So again, I go to the command line, type git status, and I see that there are two files modified. Let's inspect them. I have actually modified only the reflection util and it's the only file I want to commit. I need to state it, meaning add to the list of modified files that will be committed. I will say two and confirm with enter. I want to also preview a diff between my working copy and the head. So I see that I removed some lines starting with minus and added some lines starting with plus. Finally, I want to comment this change. In the comment message, you need to mention ticket ID, which is report. And also a description of what you've done. It can be also the title of, of the ticket. I just say that I replace reflection util get property value implementation to use bin utils or changed after i committed the file I see that it's no longer listed as modified. I don't want to do any changes in object util. I can again reset now the file to the head of my master. And see that it's clean and there's nothing to commit. I can also confirm that my commit is still there by typing git lock. I'm ready to push changes to my fork so I just type git hash origin which is my fork report to 220 And it says that a new branch was created on github slash uh, I can go to the github page to my fork and verify that there is this new branch here. I can also see github saying that there is there are recently pushed branches and I can hit pull request here or if it doesn't appear I can just do it here pull request let's do it here so in the first step I need to choose uh, where I want to push my uh, where I want to send my pull request. So I want to send it to OpenMRS 
and to the base branch uh, master and I want to send the report to 120 branch from my fork in the description of the pull request we ask you to include the URL of the ticket and to verify that it contains only changes related to this pull request to this pull request and you can also preview uh, the difference between OpenMRS master and your fork branch when you are done you'll hit send pull request and you can copy the URL of the pull request and go back to Jira and the ticket and you need to click request code review you specify a time you needed to make this change and be sure to include the re pull request URL in the comment You can also comment And finally, hit request code review. From so uh, the next step is someone from uh, so owning the module or working on the module uh, will receive a notification about your pull request and that you've uh, you requested a code review we'll do a review for you and when that's done you will get a notification saying that you need to make some changes or that it's all good and the ticket is closed you will be notified by email so please <coughs> watch for 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 that after the code is reviewed the ticket goes back to in progress state and you need to go to the pull request and look for comments saying what needs to be fixed so I need to make a small change and add a javadoc to let's go back to working on this ticket I start by checking out the report branch 
and pulling the latest changes from upstream master as you can see it results in a conflict someone modified the same file and git cannot resolve such a conflict automatically in order to fix that we need to open reflection util java you can also see a cleaner view of this common message uh, by typing git status it says that I'm currently rebasing and I need to fix conflicts and then run git rebase continue or I can skip uh, rebasing or even abort it anyway it also says that there are unmerged paths and there is one path that is modified on both ends meaning locally and in the upstream branch so it says both modified and it says which file reflection util so let's go to that file and notice that it doesn't compile and also you can see here and the small icon say, saying it's in conflict and git adds here uh, some markers this one says that this code comes from the head revision from master and right after comes your modification in this case in order to resolve the conflict I simply want to uh, use my version of the file so I can manually edit and remove the head version and also this marker right here and save the file as you can see it compiles now but it still says it's in conflict we can go back to the command line and in order to mark the config as, as resolved we need to stage this file by going to git add e and marking the file as updated the other option is to use git check out hours for example and followed by the path it will revert the file to, to our version the alternative is git check out theirs which will revert the file to the version from upstream master but since we modified and resolved the conflict manually let's just stage it here and type git status and we can now see that I'm 
rebasing and all conflicts are fixed so I can run, run git rebase continue and I also see that this file was modified let me do this git rebase continue and it's all good now also here the conflict is no longer visible so I want to say here that it uses binutils that get property and when I'm done I stage the changes again update first and commit Again, I can see the lock. Make sure that both commits are included. And finally, I can patch the changes with the F flag, meaning force. You need to use the F flag whenever you rebase. And it says that Report 220 was updated on Erkolitkovsky fork. So let's go to GitHub and verify that it's true. So as you can see, the pull request was automatically updated. You don't have to uh, issue a new pull request and you can see here that the, the commit is there also and the javadoc is added after you uh, fixed all problems you go back to, to the ticket and request another code review you have also possibility to specify time spent and this time you don't have to include the request URL because it's still the same and the, the ticket is ready for another review and hopefully this time it will be the, the pull request will be merged and you will be notified that the ticket is closed. That's it. I hope this screencast was helpful. If you have any uh, comments or questions, please ask them beneath this video.